Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, more rackets from 10X. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so my friends at 10X sent me some power rackets this time. It's called X Strike. And you can see how thick these guys are. Look at how wide those things. I had my, uh, my man Dan measure these out before uh, I took these out. And the stiffness rating came out really, really high on these. We're talking high 70s, um, close to 80 here. So it's stiff, stiff rackets going both ways. We got two versions here today. One is a lighter 300, 10.6 for four strings. The other is a 11 one, so 315 before strings. I could definitely feel the weight on the heavier one. I could feel the weight on the lighter one, actually. There is a good amount of weight towards that head, and it's going to be pretty stiff here, is, is what I've already measured, okay? So we've strung it with the string they hooked us up with the atomic strike to go with the strike rackets. All right, let's call out the boys. We'll try it out. All right, guys, so we just got off the court, 10X, X strike. We got 300 grams, 315 grams. 315. And I'm impressed, but Coach Chris, <laughs> you got the mic, go for it. Um, yeah, again, 10X, Australian brand, X strike. This racket says it in the name and you're definitely striking the ball with this one you're 
getting effortless power. I think from the other Excalibur racket to this one, you definitely feel like they went in a different direction of giving you the most um, power that you can muster with this racket. The balls were flying when we were hitting with this. Um, this was the heavier version, so I definitely prefer a little bit more weight to um, the racket itself. Kind of reminds me, is again, you can see it's like a thicker beam, so it kind of reminds me a bit more of a Babolat Pure Drive and also, what was the other racket? That Wilson, we Wilson Burn. Wilson, Wilson Burn. Yeah. Um, again, I really like kind of what they're doing, 10X is doing with this racket. Uh, it would be really cool to see this being a racket um, uh, in competition with those other powerful rackets out there. So, And then also the 300 is a bit lighter. So again, you still get that really nice power, just a little bit lighter for the, for the person who's swinging with this one who uh, maybe has some elbow injuries. But this is a good racket for pretty much uh, for those who are looking for a bit more power with it. Um, recreational, recreational player, player that yeah. would be and this would be a bit more for competition level players so yeah that's what i think pass it over to coach i have to agree with these guys i mean this 300 right here is definitely a lot powerful than i thought i think most of us thought but no um this racket definitely had a lot of pop um i think all of us when we first strike with the racket it's basically sailed on us right guys yep, <laughs> We, I thought we were playing baseball or golf for a second when we were hitting with this thing. Um, but I can tell you how powerful it is. It's definitely probably one of the most powerful rackets I've tried in the modern day era of this of rackets. Um, you can tell from the beam, it's super thick, as you can tell. Um, but when you got used to the power, it was really easy to play with. Um, very, very like easy to maneuver. Um, it felt solid, right? Like the all overall weight transfer or weight distribution on this racket is really well made and well done. Um, like I said, the 300 is definitely for a player that is getting into the recreational or high school player or, um, you, you know, just maybe even at the 3.0, 3.5, max 4.0 um, kind of like players. And then for the 4.5s and up or – for more competition, if you're more into it, it would be the 315s over here. Um, as a, like, I think all of us agree that the 315 was our favorite, mm -hmm. um, just due to the weight. But yeah, um, like I said, the 315 even e even though it is a little heavier, still generate the same amount of d of like great power. A little easier to control, of course, but definitely delivered a lot more power. Um, but yeah, both rackets really well made. Um, weight distribution really well made overall and yeah 10x did a great job so these rackets bring me back to the late 80s early 90s they kind of give me the the secret the go. yamaha secret kind of a feel yeah a la almost profile ish kind did of we try the power. profile i don't think i have a did, have we tried the profile? Uh, maybe you have it, but it's kind of like a Secret 4. Yeah, I, see, I tried the Secret stiff. 4. That, that one's stiff, yeah. yeah. These are pretty stiff, actually. Um, we threw this on the, the scale, the stiffness scale. It came out Secret 4 stiffness, actually. Oh, wow. So, so that's pretty powerful, Pretty guys. powerful, yeah. Makes sense. Um, I actually enjoy both of them. If you're a recreational weekend warrior looking for a little bit of power, these are definitely... I would say not consider. a little power. i say a lot of power. <laughs> <laughs> so... So, but yeah, super comfortable, easy power. Um, just, I, I actually like these a lot. So I would definitely recommend these if you're um, that weekend warrior, just wanting easy yep. access to uh, you know, a lot of power. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so, I mean, this is the racket that if you're looking for that extra pop, go get it. Go right. try it. Coach Goo, where can we find you, bud? You can find me at hu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Coach Chris, where you at? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And? And that's it. All right. Guys, Ooh. thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. What are you doing? Hey, Coach. I'm racing. I hurt my ankle 
So rice? Ricing. Ricing? Ricing. You mean rest, icing, compression, and elevation? Rice, 